Welcome to a new video of my home automation open habit no dress series. This time I got a new kit from icestation.com and this is a temperature sensor unit uh, combined with an ASP82601 and I believe this comes from a, an early example uh, from Adafruit how we can use the ASP8066 and again if you remember like right in the beginning when the ASP chips came out they usually come in this uh, in this package with the chip and I'm not even sure if that's probably the memory and it had this 8, eight pin header so in this 8 pin header there was only like a few pins that we could use and um, once we understood a little bit more about the ASP8066 then we had some of the other boards, the Node MCU, the VMOS and the, some of the others that came out. So this is not being used a lot uh, nowadays, but still it's perfectly fine for a small application like this. So it plugs into this daughter board and in this daughter board we say um, DHT11 and we, some, we see some power management as in like a, a regulator and I think a status LED we have a reset button and this two pin header is basically the the connection so we can feed in like 5 volts or actually the data sheet says 3.7 volts to onwards so it can run on the LiPo battery if you are planning it to run from LiPo definitely use a protected one like a protected A266 because this will definitely not shut down if the voltage drops below the LiPo so if you want that LiPo to be rechargeable and not damage it then use a protected one but otherwise it's a really really simple circuit um, as it says ESP uh, 01S DHT11 version 1.0 so it's a very very simple one if you need a very, very small project where you need a temperature sensor this is definitely going to do it all you need is a power supply or like a USB power bank or as I said a protected 18650 or I don't know maybe three AA batteries something like that and it uses the DHT11 so this is not the the best or the more precise temperature sensor but um, if you don't need that precision it's definitely going to do it and so we are going to head over to the listing because as you can see this is surprisingly cheap I mean you get this whole kit and on a, on a really good price and as you can see a really small form factor. This module is available in two different versions. The one where you only get the board uh, without the ESP01 and then uh, the other version where you get both of them. So as you can see it's like um, uh, 281 for the, the board itself and then 476 that's US uh, with the ESP01. And if I open up the, the page listing then you can see that uh, well it appears to be currently uh, on sale and the one thing I wanted to highlight it says is the operating voltage so the two pins that you use to uh, connect the the power supply accept anything from 3.7 volts to 12 volts and I think that's pretty much what you really need to know about this module you just plug it in you upload the sketch and it works let's have a quick look at the Arduino sketch by the way, you find the link to this application in the video description. As you can see, this is the original sketch which is made by which was made by Adafruit Industries. Uh, that's where the uh, this original application comes from. And actually, this is a really really simple app um, in terms of what you might be able to customize in it. So in the top, we have the constants to set the SSID and the password. So you uh, you set the SSID of your Wi-Fi and the password for the Wi-Fi here. And, and that's pretty much it, to be honest. I mean, uh, there are some a few definitions here. So it is using the HD11 sensor and it's connected to pin two of the ESP, which uh, obviously we don't need to change because uh, the hardware is already uh, created and then set. The only other things that you might change in the sketch is, is actually here in the get temperature method, which is right at the bottom of the uh, sketch. And here you can see that the HD11 sensor is being read and first uh, we are getting the humidity and now we are getting the temperature and uh, the value is defined as temp underscore f because the original sketch was for uh, to get the temperature in fahrenheit but i changed that to uh, celsius because well i just use celsius so if you want fahrenheit then you need to modify the code like this so the ht dot read temperature true so that would read the fahrenheit value by removing it it's going to return the celsius value i left the 
name of the variable like that i mean you can change that to temp underscore c uh, if you really need to and then uh, a little bit further up uh, where we handle the http request you can also see that uh, when we request for the temperature the device is going to tell us that the temperature is uh, the temp value and c so that was again originally f which i changed to c so that's how you switch the app uh, to use uh, celsius or fahrenheit and that's pretty much it all you need to do now is to upload this sketch to your esp so I, in the tools I view, I'm using the following settings. So you can make the same settings in your Arduino ID. And of course the port is going to be whatever COM port your um, USB to FTDI device is using when it, it gets connected. So the main thing is that you set in the board definition that we are using a generic ESP8266 module. And then you set the following um, flash sizes and other parameters like that. And to flash the ESP, you can use one of the ESP01 programmer board. So I have one uh, from icstation.com. I have a review on that. But if you just search in, like even in eBay for ESP01 programmers, you can find many different designs. These programmers have a USB A type mail plug, which you plug directly into your PC. And on the other hand, you have this A pin connector and uh, where you plug the ESP01 in. In my case, the IP which was given to the ESP is 192.168.1.113. And if you just put this into your browser, you will get this message, hello from the better uh, ESP8266, uh, read from slash temp or slash humidity. So if you change the URL to slash temp, you will get a message that the temperature is 24 degrees. And if you change it to humidity, you will get another message saying that the humidity is 20%. And that's what is being served by the uh, small web server, which is on the running on the ESP. And then you can see this is the piece of string which is returned here that you can now see on the screen. Of course, if you do want to customize this message, so for example, you don't want to see temperature equals or temperature colon, you can just delete it from the sketch and then recompile the software and upload it to the ESP. As you can see, the temperature sensor is now connected to a power bank and I'm using a USB monitor. And as we can see, we this device is drawing about like, I would say 70 milliamps uh, in average. And most of that is probably uh, by the two LEDs that you have on the device. So it's a uh, blue LED here and also a red LED here. And at the moment, I just sacrificed uh, like a crappy old USB lead and soldered a pin, a uh, female pin header on that. And that's how I'm powering it. So you have this uh, pin header here. The two pins, uh, VCC is uh, on the edge and then Grad is, is, is the one inside. And um, yeah, that's how I'm powering it from 5, five volts. 70 milliamps is not a lot, but if you want to run it from battery, that's probably uh, going to be a little bit too much. So your battery is not going to last long. So if you want a truly battery powered version of that, you might need to desolder the two LEDs just to reduce the power consumption and also modify the sketch so the ESP goes to sleep most of the time and only wake wakes up let's say every one minute and takes some a reading connects to the wi-fi and then sends that reading out i mean that would ensure that you have a really long lag out of your battery but for normal operation from well either from a bigger power bank or just uh, from a simple vol uh, 5 volt power supply i think it's ideal and as you can see it doesn't really draw a lot of power so I think that would be my review of this uh, ESP01 based DHT11 weather sensor. Links to the listing and to the uh, Arduino sketch is in the video description. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.